I'm going to start this entire video off by saying I am not an electrician. I am not a professional in any way. I've picked some things up as I've went along in life and other things I've been YouTubing for examples. So this entire bus build is me trying to figure shit out by using some of the things that I've learned along the way and a lot of trial and error as well. So I just wanted to say that um, before I even got started with any of this video. But without further ado, let's put in some outlets. Good morning. So I just had to go to Home Depot because I needed one more thing before I started my putting my outlets in. It was just these grounding wire connectors, which is like $2 or something. And I just had to, I just had to drive out just for, just for these. And then uh, I'm going to head back now and get started putting in these outlets. Hey there. So guess what I'm finally doing? I'm putting in the socket. There is fur everywhere all the time. This is my life. So anyway, I'm going to be using these, uh, these are the receptacles, the sockets, if you will, all right? Here's what they, once again, fur. But here's what they look like. They got the little safety in there, which is nice. And then just going with the brown for the cover. And then I'm not gonna have to use it on this first one that I'm doing, but uh, I have these grounding wire connectors as well. Gonna need a razor blade. And I had some nicer wire cutters, but I can't find them right now. I don't know where they went, so these should work fine. So yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. All right. I gave myself plenty of wire <clears throat> to use. Some sawdust in here, of course, and stuff. You're just gonna score. And then you have this paper. You wanna leave enough on here so that it's not rubbing against that back section. So you wanna leave enough of that coating on. So this, the white's the neutral, the black is the hot, and then this is your ground. The other one probably would have been better, but these are actually gonna go. All right, so you wanna slightly bend these so that they'll tuck back in there. You don't want any sharp bends in any of these. And then you're gonna take the neutral and put it over here on the chrome side. And then this one over here on the brass side. Make sure it's pushed all the way in. And then tighten that up. Really nice. And then the same thing over here. Okay, and then we're gonna tuck that in. There we go. All right, so this one actually is going to connect. So we are gonna have to use these guys on this one because it does actually connect further down the line. So let's get started with this guy. You just take the two ground wires and you have one of them come out through here, and then you feed both of them. So if you have two or more than two, um, just make sure that they're stuck in here and then turn this as much as you can to make sure that all the wires are touching and connected inside of this piece. Then this piece is sticking out. 
which I'll go ahead and bend, which is of course gonna hook down here to the green. So the next one that I have to do in this line is behind the fridge. So I've got to move the fridge out so I can get back there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna scoot you back here out of the way. Hopefully I don't mess up the lip on the outside of the fridge. I'm just gonna do this as quickly as possible so that I don't have to leave the fridge sitting at this weird angle that it's sitting at now because I can't get it off of this lip anymore without like fucking it up, I feel like. What's going on here I'm removing this panel because this wall is so thick right there and I don't want to have to get behind the fridge again I may have to one more time to put a small thinner piece back here but I don't want to have to worry about that anytime soon if I don't need to so we're just gonna go ahead and we're we're gonna go ahead and just do it this way for now and then I can add the wall on later. Mm -hmm. 